Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Mandy from Hope Designs and I had a terrible time trying to create this the other day. So I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try something first on this seven inch hexagon tile um, because I just mixed up this batch of Atelier Copper Cell Activator and um, this tube that I got was really goofy in the beginning and I might need to reach out to Blick and ask him about it. Um, um, so Atelier Interactive Metallics are kind of heavy body so they're very thick but there was like some separation at the top of the tube and the first time I made the cell activator it was super weird. So. Anyway, my inspiration for the colors I'm using today came from Erica Hughes, from Erica Hughes Art. So if you happen to see this, Erica, thank you. And yours is so beautiful. And I will link the video where she does these colors. Um, it's a recent mixing video she did, which was super helpful. For those of you who need some tips on mixing, it's a little bit more um, of her advanced mixing um just kind of some things that she's learned over time anyway i <laughs> this tiny little round i tried these colors and i had a problem with my cell activator my copper and my white i think was a little bit old so the colors were great but the um the composition for every single one was terrible so i scraped this three times the other day and then I finally decided it's my cell activator and I switched to use up the rest of my aqua green cell activator which looks good with the colors but the aqua green was also too old I think or too watery I don't know if it was the weather it was awful nothing I did turned out right so just so you know this is not the first attempt but before I try the copper on this I'm gonna try it on this I'm gonna use a double cell activator white and copper and if I have problems with my copper again I'm going to do the aqua green on here so that's my plan um, we'll see how it goes so I have um, my bloom recipe of course all the ingredients I use are in the description box below as usual um, I have been having issues with my Glidden eggshell bubbling more than usual. So that's not a huge deal, but it is kind of annoying. So the other day when I separated some into my squeeze bottle, I separated a little bit more into this little cup. And um, I'm going to, I haven't even stirred it, so I probably should stir it, right? I just put some saran wrap over it, hoping that I would isolate it into a small enough space and it would um, maybe chill out with the bubbles, huh? So I am going to give it a little stir just to make sure it's thoroughly mixed up. And um, I love this pillow. It works great. The only issues I have are the bubbles and usually I just kind of pop them as we go and it's all right. But um, it was super annoying the other day. One thing I will say that I do when I get bubbles is if they happen to pop in the painting as it's drying, I, you know, cause it's annoying cause it gives you these like white little measles. I take a toothpick and I did this yesterday. I probably should have filmed it, but it would have been like the most boring video of your life, you know? Um, I take a toothpick and I dip it into a similar primary elements color that I already have mixed up and I just fill in the little dots and I just let it sit for a second and just wipe it off and it keeps it from being like a stark white color and ultimately it makes it a lot less noticeable so I'm certainly not going to throw out a painting for some bubbles. So the first color I'm going to use is Prism Pour Golden Honey. Beautiful. Okay. 
And for those of you who may not have seen, Color Art now has 12 Prism Pour colors. So they are up on the website. Use uh, Mandy1120 to save yourself 20%. Super beautiful. This is Pineapple Crush from the Jelly Bean set. Love this color. And Erica used quinacridone violet from Golden, and I did that the other day, but you know, I scraped it three or four times, so I'm just going to use Australian red violet because I already have it mixed up like all the time. And it's kind of a similar color, so maybe a little darker. And we all know how I love me some red violet. So. And this is a Matisse color. Might have overdone it there. And then we're going to use Atelier Thalo Turquoise. <clears throat> Thalo Turquoise is one of my favorite colors. I'm being real messy today, huh? Anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. And I hope that this turns out better than the other day. So I'm using Amsterdam Titanium White Cell Activator. It's about a three to one ratio of Australian Floetrol to paint. And uh, the Atelier Interactive Copper. That one's really thick, so I start with three to one and then I add a little bit as needed. And I'm going to use the world's smallest blower just because I want to see how the cell activator responds and I, I kind of know what to expect with that. Of a swirl that I did not really mean to create here. Oh man, I hope I didn't mess this up. Let's see. Oh, I hope it works out. Let's see, let's see. I keep wanting to zoom you guys in because I'm afraid that this is going to like go crazy on the autofocus, but. back together come over here for a little bit Chill out, Mando. Um. okay some of this needs a little work but so much better than the other day. So I'm going to let it come together, but I'm going to try to catch some of these parts that need to be spread out and blow them myself. Well, that didn't work out very well. Um, Use my turkey baster. It's a little thick right there.
I'm gonna let this continue to work. This is so beautiful in the middle. I'm so glad I mixed up a fresh batch because this is a lot more like what I was going for. You should have seen how bad those things were. I've never really had a great success with copper and white together, but I'm, I'm digging it so far. Um, and that pineapple crush is just a fantastic color. And it's continuing to form here. So when I blow in the middle where this little puddle is, I'm not really trying to blow through it. I'm just trying to break up the tension in the surface a little bit. So these seven inch tiles are cute on a little easel. So for those of you who are practicing, you're like, what am I gonna do with all these small things? I like to put them on these little easels that I get on Amazon and then they're like really beautiful like as decor on a shelf or a desk. <clears throat> I really love the way the red violet played in this. Ooh -hoo, I'm, di I'm digging it. Let's spin it out. Baby spin it first. See how it opens up. I probably wasted a lot of time blowing out those edges because I have a lot of paint on the surface that's going to have to come off. <clears throat> but what a great way to practice. Like, look at that. How magnificent that is. Woohoo. That is so beautiful. I love how it hits over this yellow and makes that beautiful green where the thalo turquoise comes over that pineapple crush. So let's check out some bubbles, see where we might need to take some stuff off. But I think this is gorgeous. Thank you, Erica, for the color inspiration. And I love how the white picks up the colors around it. It kind of creates um, some contrast the way it picks up the, the phthalo turquoise and the uh, red violet. And this time the Atelier Copper really held its structure. Uh, I really had to work it in that tube, but Oh, and you know what? I forgot to put my silicone mat on my turner. And now I have all this pretty stuff on my turner that I won't even be able to save like that right there. Boo-hoo. Oh, well, let's see. It still jiggles a little, so let's get a little bit more off. I don't even want to spin it anymore. My dog is sighing at me. That is exactly what I wanted. So the only thing that makes me a little bit nervous is this pool of copper right here because sometimes that continues to ooze and I'm hoping it doesn't mess up the structure as it dries, but I think we better stop with the spinning. But man, is that gorgeous. Let me pause you for a second. And uh, let me see if I can't do it on the round. All right, so here's an eight inch cradled wood round from Lowly Beffy. We've got our pillow paint on. Way too much pillow paint, probably. So again, first layer is the golden honey and then Pineapple Crush. I'm not one that uses yellow a whole lot, but Pineapple Crush is pretty delicious. You can see that I almost used it all up and I was like, maybe I should chill. Sometimes I overdo it when I try to use up all the rest of a color. As you can see, I painted over a flop. So we're doing the Australian Red Violet here. This is a sped up 
twice as fast since you already saw me do it once on the, the hexagon. And then Thalo Turquoise. I did notice with this one, um, still trying to find the balance as you increase in size to have enough pillow paint without having too much pillow paint. Because if you have too much pillow paint, you have to work harder to get enough paint off your surface. And sometimes it messes up your composition. If you don't have enough, you mess up your composition by trying to stretch it out so much to get it to the edge. So it's just <laughs> trying to figure that balance out. Um, but I was much more pleased with this result. Super bummed out the other day when nothing I did worked, you know, that's just, that's a sucky painting day when nothing works. Um, and I'm using Old Faithful here, my world's smallest blower. Um, just because I kind of have become used to how to make it work on a little bit of a larger surface. I did kind of run out of my cell activator pool around this part. That's the only bad thing is, you know, you don't want to use too much cell activator. But then sometimes you run out about halfway around because... You don't blow down into it sometimes because I, I don't do the Shelly blow very well. So I'm trying to catch the parts that didn't get hit very well with the blower uh, with my little turkey baster. Sorry about that honking noise. And, um, but if you look in the middle, I feel like I did a lot better with my ratio of white to copper cell activator. I don't have a huge pool of copper in the middle like the last one. So I think I'm getting there. You know, it's, it's a balance between too much, not enough. Um, but now the challenge we're going to face is we still have to get a bunch of this paint off. And so as I'm cruising around here with my turkey baster, I am uh, sitting here thinking I have to spin a lot of this off. Hope it turns out okay. So thank you for joining me on my journey. For those of you guys who don't watch our channel all the time, I have been working on trying to um, go bigger on my blooms and try different blowers and try to blow it out myself and tr try to bond with my Yeeho. Um, so, you know, I hope you don't get bored with some of the the trials, but if you're starting your bloom technique journey, this is the bloom technique life. Tons of practice, just when you get a breakthrough, tons more practice <laughs> trying new things, tons more practice of a different kind. It is super rewarding, um, but it is a lot of practicing and a lot of trial and error and a lot of um, kind of getting things down and taking it a step further. And that's what I love about it is you don't really have time to get bored because you're always learning how to do something new. And there's so much you can use the bloom recipe for that. It really makes acrylic pouring a lot of fun. So as you can see, it's not the perfect blowout. I super love it compared to the other one. I'm going to bring you down for a close up in just a moment. Um, but yeah, would love those colors. Here we go. All right, so here is how the eight inch cradled wood board blew out. Uh, you can see these kind of puddles right here of cell activator. That is what's causing this kind of droopy effect. So I like like 80% of it. So really love this. A lot. I love the colors. I love the way that yellow pops through. I love the cells and the lacing. I don't like it when it starts to droop like that. So that happened because I had too much paint on the canvas and so the second or third, the third time I spun, it started to kind of droop and not hold its um, shape very well. So that's usually too much pillow or too much cell activator or both, probably both in this scenario. But check out that sparkle on that pineapple crush. 
even now you can't see it very well because of these halogen lights behind me, but I love the green that comes through with the thalo and the yellow. And I love the cells. You can see some of that sparkle right there. I love how the copper sort of just disappeared into the piece. Um, that's kind of what I was hoping it would do, would be to play well with the white. It didn't become like the superstar. It's definitely in there. You can see it right here. It's so hard to get the right angle, but it laced out really nicely. There was a couple places I didn't blow out very well, um, but considering what I went through the other day, this is 10 times better. So thanks for enduring kind of a long one. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Don't forget the 20% off promo code for color art is in the description box below, Mandy1120. And uh, join our Fluid Art group, Fluid Art Friends. The link is also below. Um, thank you so much for all your continued support. If you are not a subscriber, would love it if you would like and subscribe, leave a comment so you can come hang out with us in the future. And um, yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate you and have a great day.